Here we go, we got another vintage bike. Excuse the wind here at Glen Helen, but we got an OSA GP3 and we have here, what's your name? Randy Lewis. Randy Lewis, and tell us what year this bike is and a little bit about this bike. It's a 77 uh, OSA. It was the last year they built any motocrossers. There was only about 100 that uh, was um, imported to the United States. I think there was only a total of maybe 400 bikes built in the world. Uh, because they they kind of went out of business, they were having problems. Because Franco passed away, and they were having all kinds of labor problems. But anyway, uh, I remember um, I was racing the expert class at the time. I have a a, a standard OSA Phantom that I raced and won a national championship on back in 1997 in the 250 expert class, the Arma National Championship, and and so. I've always wanted one of these bikes, and I always wanted to build it where it should have been. And uh, the guys that were racing them, the top guys, were Marty Motes, Greg Robertson, and uh, for a time, Kenny Zark. And they were all riding for Mid Valley CZ. And uh, Delator uh, is 95 years old and still alive, and he lives back east. But after he. Um, he sponsored all these kids and they built all the bikes up and they were one of the most successful privateer racing teams at that time. Very cool. And so did you ride one of these back in? No. In, in, okay. No, I, I I was riding a Husqvarna and uh, because the shop in my area that I worked and uh, that I could ride for was gone. And so I had to pick whatever I could, uh, I could deal with and Husqvarna was what I was... Uh, was going to ride with so no very cool now so on this restoration or you obviously use this thing so how often do you get to take it out and ride it or race it uh, about once every six months okay so not too often but now when you restored this thing and keep riding it how, what what's what were some of the difficult things to find and then maybe to keep running on this thing uh, well actually if you keep up on the maintenance and, and look for things they don't break but uh, this bike has works Cherionis that was from um, Jim Pomeroy's Beta back in 1979. And I had to modify them to fit on here. A lot of work. That's got a KTM front wheel. This has a special pipe from Spain. It's, I built the reed valve for it. Uh, it has a different swing arm, of course. And the guy up in Washington uh, built the tank and the the swing arm and I built the shocks for it and so most of the parts on this are titanium everything that's eight millimeters or bigger is either aluminum or titanium very nice yeah. so now the big question is how much time and money do you think you have into this build I wouldn't sell it <laughs> I wouldn't sell it for under twelve or thirteen thousand dollars there's too much it's just too much work involved here and a lot of really cool parts in it. How much time do you think you put into this thing? Sourcing parts and working on I, it? I couldn't even guess, but I did race it against a, bot, a, a modern races earlier in the year in the REM uh, age group class, and I won most of the races against modern bikes. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, well, it was great talking with you and checking out this OSA, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys out at the races soon. All right.